uh, for heated floors. Is that correct? Possibly heated floors. It's a six inch concrete floor. Uh, it has one inch pink closed cell insulation underneath the vat. It's got a inches of concrete, two inches of sand underneath the concrete. There's a vapor barrier underneath of that. There's an inch of pink closed cell foam underneath of that. And then there's six inches of crushed rock compacted underneath of that. And all of the columns um, have foundation pit sets with rebar on them that were engineered for uplift and moment. And then there's uh, the edges I think were an extra six inches for a footing all the way around the outside. I think. I can't remember that for certain. So the glass door can come down. This this is an incredible building. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. These two doors were like, I think they were 5,000 a piece or something. Yeah. I have no doubt. They're unreal. That's unreal. Could you even imagine? About 9% done. Uh, all the plumbing is in. All the hot and cold running stuff is in. There's a hot water heater on that side. There's a toilet and sink over there. The other level over there is set for a toilet and sink. The sink's already in. We just didn't get a chance to get a toilet and put it in. He, uh, he wanted to... These are supposed to be studios for him and his partner. Right. And this is an act building, and he didn't want to permit anything, so he just kind of did what he wanted to do. So if somebody were to come in today, they can use the bathrooms today? I mean, they yeah. can... Come here. Let's go upstairs. <clears throat> It's not hardwood. What is it? It's uh, clear dug fir from the biscuit fire. Wow. Oh, this is the coolest thing ever. You see the mice have been How busy. much is this building? Excuse me? How much is this listed for? 350 oh. Yeah, you had like 800 in it. Here, come on, gold ring wire. Um, toilet. You can see that nobody's been up here for a while. <laughs> So if if everything was on and working, sit at this toilet, it would work fine. Flushing, yeah, flushing. going to septic. We, we used it. Yeah, there's a septic system. There's a 1,500 gallon tank out here in the yard. The pump system is over there on the wall. The leach field is over on the side of the home site. Okay. the concrete but I did all the excavation and subgrade and did I formed it. <coughs> that side over there matches this side. Oh, they're okay. twins. They're they're both exactly the same. So where you're standing right now, that's a bed vault 
We had it finished out yet. We needed to sheet the inside of it. So he wanted to use like beds that would slide in and come out. So he could use this like for a little office space or a bedroom. He wanted to build a kitchen that would roll out from underneath of here. Oh. And then all the plumbing's extended right here. We were going to build a big commercial stainless steel built-in sink there. And then uh, all the infill panels he was going to do in that uh, corrugated sheet metal. Oh, so that wow. it gives it the industrial, industrial cargo mm -hmm. container type look. Wow. So all these infill panels, like this one right here, that was what that was going to oh, okay. be. And that a kitchen one up there that pulled out? Mm -hmm. Just wheeled and out? We did all kinds of stuff. Uh, we were thinking about hinging it. So those prints laying on the floor. Uh -huh. We were going to put weld on hinges here. Okay, so you're going to put a bathroom up here then, too. It's all plumbed for it, ready to go. The water's hooked up to the toilet right there. That's the toilet drain. Okay. Um, the plumbing for the sink drains right there. Uh -huh. It just hadn't been ported through because he wasn't exactly sure where it was going to be. The hot and cold for the sink is right there. Uh, the mixing valve for the shower is right here. And then he wanted to put two hand valves in so you could turn these heads on and off. The floor drain underneath the shower pan's already there. Uh, it's right underneath that little hole. He didn't want to cut it out and put a drain cap in it. He wanted to do like a drill design <laughs> in the floor for a drain. And is it the same thing over there then too? You've got a exactly bathroom set up over there too. Well, you see the plumbing underneath over right there. Mm -hmm. oh. The stack vent for all the plumbing on each side is right here and we took a we took a dryer vent cap and pulled the pulled the flap out of it left the screen in it stuck it on there so it looks like a exhaust fan or something so there's no perforations through the roof with a vent, vent pipe this is unbelievable this is not what i expected you know these stair treads they're beautiful it took me it took me over a day to build each one of these wow each 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 stair tread there's 46 of them in here. Wow. <laughs> They're really beautiful. I this love This is your them. artwork, isn't it? Yep. Pretty much. Wow. Wow. Everything was put in and built with a transit. We started off with a level, and that wasn't good enough. 